What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John, and look, we're coming back with breaking news. So it looked like Caitlin Clark feature NASCAR has been crashed at the Brickyard 400, and NBA All-Star makes a shocking revelations about Caitlin Clark and this Rookie of the Year debate. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> So it looked like Caitlin Clark fans is furious with NASCAR driver Josh Berry. Basically, Josh Berry has wrecked the Caitlin Clark featured NASCAR that broke the internet a few days ago at this year's Brickyard 400. And I'm telling you right now, it is bad. Let's roll the footage. Well, it's Blaney. That's the idea. So if you're good on fuel, oh, I saw smoke on the and 19. The 19 into the wall. It looked like the left rear tire went down. Into the wall. Contact with Larson. Oh, and another wreck behind him. The four. Josh, Josh Berry Harris. gets into the wall. That's a, just a chain reaction. It's so difficult to see at this racetrack in front when things start happening. Everybody's single file. It's just very difficult to know what's going on. It looked to me like the left rear tire blew. That's We saw that little bit of smoke. That was the scene today in Indianapolis, and it's being reported that car featuring star Caitlin Clark's pitcher on hoods crashed out of Brickyard 400. Josh Berry, whose number four car had fever star Caitlin Clark on the hood, crashed to begin stage three at Sunday's Brickyard 400. Berry got turned around and spun out seconds after Martin Tresh Jr. hit the wall due to Kyle Larson in the short shoot between turn three and four. Berry debuted the special ride with feature Caitlin Clark shooting in her owl uniform on his hood for this weekend's race. Clark and Barry are both sponsored by Panini Training Cars, which is how the car came to be this weekend in Indianapolis. The actual Kayla Clark is just fine, but for the car, it is a wrap, dog. Now, Josh Barry did speak with the media earlier this week, and he gave Kayla Clark high praise with her actually being featured on the hood. Let's roll the footage. Uh, to have her, you know, to have Panini and then Kaylin on the car as well, right? Like just, uh, just um, the amount of att attention that the car has gotten this week through social media and everything has been really cool. And I'm sure it'll continue to build through the weekend. Hopefully we can have a good race and, and you know, make them all proud. Yeah, it really is a great opportunity to have, have her on the hood of our race car and, and, and the amount of reach and popularity she's gained over the last couple of years has been, you know, really, really amazing to watch and just how it's kind of transcended women's basketball, right? Obviously being a, a girl dad, I guess, you know, you, you don't necessarily put the two together right now, but, you know, as, as she grows older, I'm sure that it'll, it'll definitely be a pretty cool thing to look back. That was Josh Berry reacting to Kayla Clark being on the hood. Now, I do want to let you guys know that Josh Berry is okay, but the car is toast. He's out of the Brickyard 400. But, uh, man, big prayers up for him, dog. That's unfortunate. Moving on to another story. So it looked like a former NBA All-Star set the record straight about Kayla Clark and Angel Reese getting this Rookie of the Year award. Now, we all did see both of these young ladies in the WNBA All-Star game, and it was just great to see Kayla Clark giving Angel Reese assists, bro. That was completely legendary. Putting to bed a whole lot of rumors surrounding the two stars. Well, it looked like an NBA All-Star. Let it be known. Kayla Clark and Angel Reese got to get co-Rookie of the Year awards. It's being reported that Kayla Clark and Angel Reese may have just teamed up in the 2024 WNBA All-Star Game on Saturday night, but their Rookie of the Year battle is still fresh on everyone's minds. Both Clark and Reese have legitimate cases to win the award, and while Clark appears to be on the front-running side, Reese has a lot of her fans in her corner currently. For some folks, it's a race that is too tough to decide. Former NBA star Raymond Felton believes that if things remain this close by the end of the season, the WNBA will be forced to share the award between the two rookies. Let's roll the footage right now. This controversy right now is this Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese Rookie of the Year conversation. Listen, you can't go wrong with either or. Hey. I understand what everybody's saying. I'm going co. Who? I'm going co-MVPs. I got to share it. They got to share it. Got to share it. I mean, you can't give it to a one. 
Kayla Clark has figured it out. She's playing amazing basketball. She's figured it. Angel Reese is breaking records. What? Give it to both of them. If you can't, if it's so close, yeah. let them share it. Give yeah. it to both of them. That's yeah. how I see it. I see They no both problem. deserve it. Yeah. They both deserve it. Give it to both of them. They both has changed and impacted the WNBA as far as fans, as far as like where they're going to go in the future. These girls has impacted the game within their first year. And that's and that and that's great for the for the game. That's great for the WNBA. We, I'm happy we, for them, man. we were talking about it before. Everyone says, talks about Angel Reese is throwing the ball up there, skill level, blah, blah, blah. She's a walking double double every time she walks in the gym. Man, they can say what they want to say. She, I would love to have her on my team any day if she, I was a coach. She's a walking double-double every time. Yeah. Listen, I have, I've I've been one of those people. I'm like, damn, she's just throwing the ball up there. But she continues to get the rebound and still finish the shit. But they, but they don't look at what's amazing about her is how quick she gets back up. Oh, yeah, yeah. She throws that ball people up. Don't like they say, oh, she throws it up. But that's people who don't hoop. She's on the other side of they the They don't understand. That that's a talent. That is a great uh, – what? Everybody can't do that? That's a talent. That's why she's getting 15, 16 rebounds a game. I agree. I think I think they go co-MVP because, I mean, yeah, uh, rookie of the year. Because I'll tell you this. Uh, Caitlin Clark has figured this thing out. She has definitely figured it out. 100%. She can shoot she the ball. Is. And listen, I didn't know she was such a great passer like that. She passes the ball at a very high level. Very highly. Down in the comment section right now, let me know your thoughts about this video. Keep them bells on because you know I'm going to bring you the news. And until next time, dog, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Take